Hi guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. This video idea here came up because I had a um, talk with a client of mine who is now competing in a weighted calisthenics competition and they had a pretty confusing rule that they limited the space um, in front of the muscle up so they limited the amount of swing that you can use. And uh, in my head, this indicated that the organizers of the competition think that more swing is an advantage for the athlete. Um, whereas this is clearly not true. And so in this video, I want to talk with you about how much swing is actually optimal for a muscle up. So first video on the flip chart in a while, so I hope the focus works and you can see everything you need to see. And um, to answer the question, how much swing is optimal, I want to take two variables into consideration for the muscle up. And that is the resulting force output that we have in the point of return and the overall range of motion that we have to uh, yeah, that we have to go through in a muscle up. So let's take a look at two different examples. So this is the bar from the side view and we have athlete number one swinging this much. So here are the hands and here are the feet. This is the bottom reverse point that you see here. And we have athlete two swinging much more. Here are the hands on the bar and here are the feet. Now, what we need with a muscle up is um, a force output that is as vertically as possible as we want to go up. This is the direction where we need to go, but we also need a small force component into the horizontal direction because we cannot pull through the bar we need to pull around and that is the prominent C shape everyone is talking about as we need to pull around that bar. So let's take a look at the little swing here. Here we have the resulting force pointing in this way. So a very very big vertical component and a small horizontal component very close to optimal because most of the force really translate to the, uh, to the motion that we want to have. Whereas now take a look at too much swing. We have this resulting force here. So we're pulling super inefficient as the horizontal component here is very, very big and the vertical component is comparably small. So we're not really pulling efficiently around the bar, we're actually pulling away from it. So this one here is not efficient. Now, second part is range of motion. As I said, we need a small horizontal component here to come around the bar. So here we have this range of motion to come up, pretty efficient. Here we have because the hips are shooting backwards, I can show you that in the video, we have this range of motion then. So way more range of motion to pull, so this one is inefficient. That means less swing, and especially with weighted muscle ups, is way more efficient than a lot of swing. So we can already see the rule with limiting the range of motion is unnecessary because less is better anyway. But here now comes a bit of a twist with range of motion because if we're limiting those, we need to make sure that we adapt it for different sized athletes. Because with the same degree here, with this angle of swing, a taller athlete needs way more space than a smaller athlete. So a taller athlete needs more distance with the same angle than a smaller one. And to keep this fair, you need to make a pretty complicated rule to limit the range of motion in front of the body, whereas it doesn't make sense anyway. So to everyone watching, organizing competitions, uh, please skip this rule. 
it doesn't really make sense as the muscle ups are getting inefficient anyway and if you will look at top performers in muscle ups um, they will barely have any swing because they want to maximize their force output in the actual pulling direction and that is up and not in that horizontal component and I hope you like the videos if you're interested in uh, more theory stuff so like you know a bit of the exercise science behind calisthenic skills then let me know in the comments and if you want to level up your training and also your knowledge make sure to schedule your free strategy call for our online coaching because in our coaching we dig very very deep in those topics we have a lot of seminars where we really explain um, yeah, in this style so really really detailed and combine that with uh, a tailored workout program for you so you really know um, the science behind it and you can execute it on the bar as well because um, if you drop out of the online coaching in the future I want to make sure that you are ready that you can coach yourself that you have understood um, what I taught you because coaching is not only about making you a better athlete we also need to grow you mentally so um, you can really perform good on the long run so I hope you liked it and see you in the next video